Okay, we just worked through 5 to a doing the high-low method. In this part of the video, we're going to do the scatter graph method. So, uh, it says using the scatter graph method, estimate the cost formula. A 10 by 10 grid is provided below. This question, students lose marks, probably not for the scatter graph, but for not doing a good job on their axis, not doing a good job with their labels. And here's what I mean. Uh, let's look at the cost. So cost is the Y axis. So cost goes on the Y and uh, packages shipped goes on the X. And what students screw up here is you can see it's like goes from 1100 at the low to 1500 at the high. They'll like do something like this. They'll go, this is wrong. So don't do this. They'll go zero. That's starts there. And then they'll go 1000, 1100, 1200, 1300, something like this, right? And that's, you know, it seems like a reasonable thing to do, except for it's totally wrong. And what is totally wrong about it? The gap between here and here is a thousand, but it's one square right on my graph paper. The graph between here and here is a hundred and it's also one square. We need to draw this to scale or you will screw up your line. You will mess things up. I've seen it. I've, I'm a professor. I've been doing this for years. People screw things up. So what does that mean in terms of their cost? Don't skip anything. So I'm going to say, okay, it goes up to 1500. I'm going to make this 2000 at the top, 2000. So halfway down one, two, three, four, five, because it's 10 by 10, this is a thousand. And that means every cell is worth 200. So 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200, uh, 14, 16, and 1800. Okay. Now I'm setting myself up for success because I haven't skipped anything, right? Zero to 200. Every, every jump is a 200 jump increment skipping up if i had started at a thousand things get wonky uh, so don't skip if you're asked to do a scatter graph and you have to label the axis so for packages 130 is our high point i'm just gonna make it 200 again or yeah two it was 2000 i'm gonna make this one 200 uh so i'm gonna go uh so this is again zero 20 40 60 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. Okay, so there we have it. I have this labeled beautifully. Now I need to plot my points. Scatter graph method, you just plot the points into the graph. So January is 100, 1200. So 1200 on my uh, y axis, 100 on the x axis. It's right there. Uh, sorry, something weird happened with my calculator. Um, 120 and 1300. Okay, so 120, 1300 is halfway in between. There we go. Uh, 125, 1350. Ooh, this is kind of ugly. 125 and 1350. All right, right there. I'm guessing. Um, 130 and 1500, 130, 1500. So it's halfway right in the middle of that one. Uh, 110 and 1400, 110 halfway and 1400 right on the line there. And last but not least, 90 and 1100, 90 and 1100. So it's halfway, it's right in the middle of this one. Okay, so there is my uh, data. Now I have to, and this is the toughest part of this, I got to draw a line through it. So it's useful if you have a ruler, uh, but you just got to draw a straight line that you think represents this data well. A straight line through this information, which is uh, not always easy, right? Uh, but we'll do our best. So I draw. I got a ruler out, I'm going to draw a line through let's see i want to make it sort of match the what i perceive to be the slope now again this is human perception and it could be you know flawed but yeah i think i'm i can't decide i'm gonna go there i'm gonna do it right there all right so let me draw the line maybe in pink ink let's make it stand out a bit Oh, this is way too thick. <laughs> I got the wrong pen. 
Uh, let me make this pen smaller. There we go. Okay, so drawing my line, doing my best. Sure, there's my line. I think I've done a reasonable job drawing a line through that data. You're just doing your best. They call it a visual inspection line. You're saying, I'm drawing a line that I think fits this data. And, you know, it's a straight line. And you got to draw it all the way to the axis, right? Uh, okay. So we want to do our y equals mx plus b formula here. So I'm looking for y equals mx plus b. And the first thing is we have the b. Wherever it crossed the line is our b. I'm going to say, man, it's basically right on 400, maybe 399 if I'm being real particular. I, I'm, yeah, I'm going to say, well, let's say 400. It really does look like it, it crossed right at the line. I didn't do that on purpose, by the way. It's just kind of how it, how the cookie crumbled there. So I'm going to say, based on this, B equals 400 for me. Now, your line might be different. It's useful maybe if you're following along with me, you draw the same line, but your line might be slightly different. That's why it's a pain for a professor because, you know, you can have a lot of students with slightly different lines and you mark them right because they're close enough. Uh, but there you go. My line says B is 400. Okay, so 400 goes into the formula. Now, what about the other one? I have to pick a point where the line goes through. So either this one or this one. I'm going to pick this one just because it really looks like it went through it. But this one could be just about as good. So I'm going to choose a point where I think the data went through and figure out what it was. It was 1,200. What month was that? Oops, move that. Uh, by mistake, 1,000 or 100 and 1,200. It was January. Okay, so I'm choosing January as a good point. So in January, X was 100 and Y was 1,200. So there we go. My X and my Y, 100 and 1,200. So I plug that in here. I go, okay, well, my Y is 1,200. My X is 100. And now I solve for M, right? M is unknown. So I got the... The intercept is 400. I got, I mean, the fixed cost is 400. I got my Y and my X. Now I just have to solve for M. So, okay, let's take away 400 from both sides. I have 800 equals 100 M, M equals eight. There we go. So my formula for the line using a scatter graph is Y equals MX. So eight X plus B plus 400. That would be my formula and my answer for part B. All right, we've 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 made it to the end of our scatter graph. Now, your answer could be slightly different. And as I mentioned, all student answers when I do this in a class are gonna be slightly off. They might, you might look at this exact same line and say 399. You might look at this exact same line and you might've chosen that point and think that's a better point. And I would mark students right with a variety of answers here. That's a challenge of visual inspection and that's a knock against visual inspection. Every answer is gonna be a little bit different. The advantage of visual inspection of a scatter graph method is uses all the data right? High, low, you just take the, the two extremes, the highest and lowest. Scatter graph, you kind of use everything to, to shape your line. The disadvantage of the scatter graph method is it uses human judgment, right? Your eyeballs might see something different here than my eyeballs see. So in part C, we'll do the least squares regression, which is sort of the best of all worlds solution. So stay tuned for part C. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. The next video in our series is right up here. And if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.